Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. All the support is really appreciated and it really, really helps me out. Um, but what were we talking about? We're doing some um, GUI, player GUI stuff, right? Now I see my GUI files are a little weird here. I'm just gonna put them in GUI. Player GUI H and CPP. I'm just gonna open those up. All right, so we were kind of um, we we're kind of looking at the health bar, right? And I just want to make sure since it was a little while ago I started this project uh, a few days ago. Let me just try this out. New game. All right, so we had our HP bar. Doesn't really look that nice. Uh, but it looks it looks okay. It looks all right now the the two-part HP bar Has two rectangle shapes and they're both the same size, right? And to kind of change it around what we're gonna do is we're gonna Decrease the size of the inner one and leave the back one the way it is I'm just gonna look at this so inner is drawn in front of back. Okay, so basically everything we're going to do is we're going to do it in update HP bar. And I'm guessing I'm just going to do this. HP bar like that. Uh, right in here. What we could do is we could update it. Hmm. We could update the player GUI anytime anything happens. We could do that. Or we could update the individual parts. The thing is sometimes you got to you gotta kind of give up performance for ease of coding right so you want to probably just update everything in one function and then just call that function whenever you need to update it or just call it every frame if you want to uh, but what I'm gonna do just for now we don't need to optimize anything I'm going to I am going to say that this HP bar inner all right dot set size like this and then we're gonna actually set the X value now we gotta think here we need we a hundred percent is gonna be the size it is now and then we're gonna get the percentage of let's see the width is 300 right okay we're setting it to width now a hundred percent is 300 now we got to do some calculations. Um, this, let's see, uh, float percent, all right, is going to be this player dot get attribute component. All right, this is annoying. Um, HP divided by. There we go. And then we're just going to do HP max. And we're probably going to floor this whole thing. Um, STD floor the whole thing just to get, get it a round number, right? And once you do that, that's a double, right? So I'll have double percent right there. Wait, you know what? No, float is good. We're going to floor it and we're going to cast it. Float. Okay, so it's a long, really, really long if statement, but but it's worth it. So we're just going to floor it and cast it. And floor it and cast it. Okay. Some like that, some like that. So now you see what's going on. Um, once that's done, we'll have a percent. Okay, we have a percentage. And we're going to say float. Let's see. We're probably going to need a max size HP bar. So I'm just going to create a float for that. Float HP bar max size. And I'm going to give it um, this HP bar max size equals 
width and it should actually be below this stuff. So that's going to be the max width of it. And that's really important to know. Uh, there you go. So once we have that max width, which is never going to change, we can say uh, this. Oh, sorry, vector 2f. And now we're going to set the size. Okay, it's kind of complicated. Um, this HP bar max size multiplied by the percentage. All right. And then we're going to say this. No, we don't need that. Uh, this HP bar inner dot get size dot y. This is really is kind of convoluted. It doesn't really look good from a coding standpoint. So we're probably going to get a HP bar max height as well. And uh, just call it width actually. You know what? Set, set it to width. That's better. Sorry for changing it like this. But you know, it's, it's got to be right. It's got to be right. You can't just have weird stuff. So HP bar max width. Looking good. Looking good. And it's going to set the size. So if it's 100%, it's going to be 100%. Obviously, it's going to be the max width. Um, otherwise, it's just going to, you know, shorter and shorter and shorter. So that's going to be that's going to be cool. Now, we probably want to floor that as well. Most probably, you know, we could just floor it once. Let's just copy this. Let's just control X all of this. And let's just say floor like that. And we'll multiply it with this and then we'll just floor and static cast this thing instead. Hopefully that will be just fine. So it's going to be one of those long ones again. But we're just going to cast it and floor it like this. Cast it, floor it, and then cast it. And then, okay, we should be fine. Now we got to update this thingamajig let's see am i even recording yeah okay so now we got to update it and uh, where are we going to do that we're going to go ahead into player most probably i think player has the component the gui itself or game state probably has it game state where are you states game state uh player gui okay so game state has player gui probably i'm going to update player gui Update player GUI. Oh, we already had it right there. Okay, very nice, very nice. And we're updating the HP bar. All right, so let's go. Let's just see if it crashes, first of all. And I want to see if it's 100%. What is this into float bullshit? What is that? I'm going to have to check that out. All right, so it's not crashing and it is 100%. It looks like 100%. Um, good. Good, good, good. Now we got to set the player's HP to something less. So we're going to set, uh, we're going to go into player. Okay. Player. CPP. It should be up here somewhere. Create attribute component. Might be in the attribute component. Uh, right here vitality update stats it's got to be in here hp max okay hp equals hp max divided by two if we run this hopefully it will be 50 percent okay it's, it's it's pretty much zero um okay so obviously we gotta static cast these to floats because these are integers I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. It took some time. Um, so you got to you gotta static cast both of these individually. So we don't get an integer division, obviously. And then it's going to be... Yeah, then the result's going to be a float. And you're going to get a float back. And then we'll still floor and cast these things. And that's always good to do. And if we run this now, you should see a HP bar at 50%. Okay? So that's working. That's real fine. Uh, and just make sure your stuff looks like this. Remember, static cast these two. Always good to do. 
Uh, yes, yes. So we're nice. We're nice. All right. So our HP bar is pretty much working. I'm just going to remove this. Now we're going to need uh, a few functions and stuff in player where um, we kind of gain and lose, e uh, what do you call it, HP and stuff. So I'm just going to do a little setup for that. So we have update attack. We're going to have a void lose HP const const int HP okay and then void lose exp const int exp all right so we're gonna need a few of these functions and we're gonna need a void gain HP const int HP and a void gain exp const int exp all right so that's great and these are gonna kind of check the health and you know you're gonna you're gonna make sure the character is probably the player is probably dead if it's zero and stuff and those things we're gonna update in these these functions you probably want these together by the way like that Okay, so pretty much, pretty much. So we're going to work with this in the next video. We're going to keep working on the GUI as well. Uh, just make sure it's working fine still. Make some new parts of it and stuff. Keep going. I said I'd make some new textures for the GUI. Haven't really gotten time to do that yet, but I will get to it. And uh, and yeah, sorry for the little slowish video, sluggish video. I'm a little tired today as usual. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. In the next video, like I said, we'll keep working on this. And we'll make it real nice. All right. So take care. Keep working hard. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.